Hey everybody and welcome to the Bandai stream to let's make a 3D short in Blender 2.8 part 11 Woo! Applause How is everybody doing? Alright So in the last episode we kind of made a rough layout mm. Kind of already seeing a first pass of how our short uh, would play out with the scene length and stuff mm. And now we still have three tasks uh, in front of us before we can really move forward. One is um, like uh, beautifying uh, the, the shading and texturing of the model. Uh, two would be to uh, further develop the rig uh, and actually skinning the model. So that all comes uh, together nicely. Uh, and the third part is to um, well, with the with the rigging, uh, also for the like shape keys, uh, or we want to put in uh, bandy bones in the face. We're gonna check out if that's gonna work. It's gonna be a kind of funky setup. It looks like fun. And the third thing is to uh, put make get this rough layout and actually put in poses and actually start a preliminary blocking uh, blocking phase. So exciting stuff. So I'm gonna pause our animation here. We can already see here. We have quite a setup here with the cameras. So that's already set up. So once we go into the rough blocking, we will still be, um... <laughs> let me eat my food here first. We will um, still be using the big scene. And once we go into uh, actual blocking and animation, we will be dividing this uh, into different shot files. Mm. Though I'm still doing some research behind the scenes on that, uh, not on our files, so don't worry, uh, you'll get to see the entire process. But I'm doing some research on when exactly we will go to a shot based file system. So that'll be nice and dandy. So, what to do first? I think we should start with the hardest ta task first and go into the rigging process. Um, actually, um, go deeper into the rigging. So we're gonna open file. We're gonna open the boy rig, the latest file. That's the version eight. All right. There you go. Mm, uh, unhide everything here. Good. And we see that we have a rig here. Uh, the boy doesn't have a shader, but that doesn't really uh, matter. Uh, because we have the shader in another, another file, uh, we can pull it in. Let's just do that. So we can file uh, append, just really quickly. Put in uh, materials, uh, let's say temp. Um, huh. Oh, this is the dog, yeah. I was like, why does the boy have a fur? The boy shading, here we go. Material, boy, shader, okay. And on our boy, we're just gonna apply the boy shader. And there we go. Oh, seems like I still have the viewer on. There we go. All right, and then gives us a nice preview of the model. And I also wanna apply the same to the hair, I think. There we go. Uh, yeah, we can just simply select the other parts of the hair. Select the model, press Ctrl L. Materials. Also, let me put on my screencast keys for good measure. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. And also the eyebrows, maybe. The eyebrows here are still. Oh no. Okay. That's fine. All right. Let's go to layout. Let's put on the textures on. All right, and we have a rig model here. So, now our task is putting them in different poses, seeing if the skinning works, and adding more control bones if we need them. So first things first, let's grab a cube over here. I'll just call this temp. We move this into a collection we will call temp. That's just to 
make sure we don't reference the wrong files. Edit mode, press G, Z1, I'm gonna put it on the floor and make it smaller. This is just something the boy is gonna be sitting on. Let's select our rig. Let's Those buttocks are gonna go here. Stacks are gonna kind of fall down. Put them straight on it. Maybe going a little bit inwards. Hmm. And on my other screen, I uh, can't show you that for copyright reasons. Hey, uh, Amar, how are you doing? Good to have you back. Mm. Uh, I am gonna look up some reference of uh, a boy sitting. And you get plenty, plenty, plenty of reference. All that reference. So, let me pick one. Because I don't wanna mix all these references. Okay, so we have one. And already see kinda, like it's kinda uh sitting with his back curved I'm already gonna enable my backbones a little bit i'm gonna uh, uh, and i see that one foot is a little bit more up than the other that makes the pose a little bit more interesting mm, I think. A little bit slouching shoulders, um, and then the hand. Where are my hand controls? There we go. Uh, kind of rotated. The wrist is a bit rotated. Um, and then his fingers are kind of like a couple of them are rounded, like this. Oh. My thumb is just pointing forwards. Um, so I'll put his eyes down here. Just straight. Um, his head is a bit more straight, like he's posing uh, a little bit more. And this other arm. A little bit more straight, a bit more like this. Like maybe his this bone goes a little bit more to the back, but then compensate with these ones. Kind of made the back maybe a little bit too perfect, but that's not too big of a bother. Um, I rotate, and he's kind of grasping his his knees here. So I'm just going to select all my fingers here. Oh. Ah, yes, we still have that rigging issue, don't we? Didn't we fix that? Ah, yes, we fixed that, but we fixed that in the wrong file, didn't we? So I'm gonna save this file, I'm gonna open up the... Boy shading file, I'm just gonna... Really quickly. Go to the post menu, yeah, here it works, yeah, we fixed that in this file. So what we can do now, is um actually update the rig in the correct file because that's that's uh or you know you know what let's just let's just do it here because it's gonna make things a lot easier um but what we can do is go back to this file mm, select our mesh and post mode Copy the pose, so uh, we copy the pose to our buffer. Open the boy shading, discard changes. And pose, paste the pose. There we go. Now we have the exact same pose in another file. Just gonna re-add the, um, the cube here. There we go. Put that into a temp collection. All right, let's proceed where we were. 
where he's kind of grasping his knees. You don't have to see. I kind of like this. And that looks pretty good. So what I kind of want to do now is I'm going to put a camera in here. Uh, so in object mode, we're going to add a camera. Plus, uh, loss of control, control, alt, zero. Uh, and I'm gonna uh, maybe rotate stuff a little bit. There we go. Um, give it the right dimensions. We're also gonna rig. Uh, we're also gonna skin the raincoat. Uh, if we get to that today, but first things first. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm just gonna go render this out. Uh, well, maybe just wanna do a viewport render. So, window, uh, render. Where did the viewport render button go? Ah, 2.8. I do love you. Let me also check the chat in the meantime. If you don't miss anything. Hey, Amar, man, if I can get my characters rigged like this, I would really be able to go uh, to town animating. Maybe I will try this this weekend. I need to get past this. Yeah, um, learning rigging is, is a pain in the butt for sure. Um, also, thanks for the likes, guys. Um, but um, yeah, the rigging definitely is, is one of the hurdles to overcome uh, if you want to be a generalist. Um, but uh, if you want to learn animating without uh, needing to rig, there's a ton. If you subscribe to the, uh, the Blender Cloud or you just go looking on Turbo Squid or anything, you find so many... Um, Rick's characters, which you just can't play with. Uh, hey, Mike, how you doing? Do I procrastinate all the time? <laughs> this stream is a procrastination for my other work, but don't tell anybody. Uh, it is under view. Oh, is that true? Um, uh, but I learned to procrastinate with other productive stuff. Um, because if you don't feel like doing uh, something, if it has to be done, if it has a deadline, you just have to crunch through it, uh, really. But if you, um, which view, I can't find it. Um, but uh, if you, uh, but if you, you're like working on, on your own projects, if you really don't feel like doing anything, uh, doing something, then figure out why you don't, is it because lack of experience or lack of knowledge? Uh, or is it just because it's a less fun part? But just find two projects to work on. And uh, if you like uh, switch between these two and stay productive on the two, it kind of motivates you more and you can procrastinate the one with the other. Um, but definitely some good tips are like close off your um, close off your social media. Check your social media. Like I check my social media three times a day in the morning, in the noon, in the evening, maybe at night. Uh, and before I go to bed briefly, um, if somebody messages me, I'll get a tone and I'll check it when I have time. Uh, but yeah, uh, get away with distractions, uh, with unimportant stuff like, um, and, um, actually assigning your time to do stuff you want to do, like checking your social media is not that bad, but assign time to it, right? Uh, also checking art station, uh, just schedule that like, okay, I'm going to work until two o'clock and then I'm going to check art station for 15 minutes as a break whilst I'm eating a snack or something. And that's fine. I mean, I think a lot of the procrastinating is fine as long as you do it. Um, I don't think procrastinating is fine. I think like assigning time, free time in between your work time is fine as long as you do it consistently. Uh, object mode view, select add object. But I don't want to add an object. Uh, what are you answering? What did I ask? You can just You can just add an object here, right? Oh, wait. No, object mode view, select add object. Oh! Oh, there it is. Oh, thanks, Amar. Oh, you're a doll. Uh, view for trainer image. There we go. And we just want to disable this. And then we just go to view, view for trainer image. Okay. 
So this should have a shortcut, right? Nah, it's all fine. So now we have this, and I'm just gonna save this. Um, so I'm gonna go image, save as, and we're just gonna uh, in the animation project that we have here, make a new folder, and call this um, post reference. And then here we're just gonna uh, boy. Uh, whoops, and that's saved somewhere. Uh, and then we're just gonna call it zero one. And we can call it sitting if you want to be more consistent. But um, these are not references for to use in the animation because you can also do that, right? If you know in your animation you're gonna have a hard pose somewhere. But you already see we have some issues, right? So uh, um, it's maybe just a texturing issue actually. So what I'm gonna do is because we're gonna apply that in our animation as well as add a subdivision surface before the armature. Uh, right. Uh, what am I saying? After. Yes. So it smooths out uh, after it uh, has been deformed. Uh, as things do in real life. Scheduling does help. Yeah, definitely. Uh, scheduling helps a lot. I want to make sure the preserve volume is on so he doesn't lose his volume here. Um, gonna have to find a solution for the attachments here, but I think if you subdivide this, it's also kind of fine. We're just gonna add a subdivision one to everything here, not to the eyebrows. Oh, they already have one. Oh, fine. You do you. <laughs> um, and we kind of see some issues here with the eye as well. Um, I think that I might fix. Uh, let's see here. It's kind of a weird issue. So let's see if that is the actual. I'm just gonna disable the smiling um, key shape for now, so it doesn't distract me. But let's see if this is a key shape issue. No. And I think it's just an issue of. Um, I'm just gonna make sure the key shapes are kind of the same, and I'm going to my basis. I'm gonna go add one of my bases. Then if I move this around with my X mirror on, where is my X mirror? Oh God, how do I always forget to, how to enable the taskbar at the top view. There it is, tool settings, X mirror. Like if this was just here next to the object types visibility, oh man, that would, that would save so much time. So now normally if I move something, I'm gonna disable the, yeah, it moves on both sides. So we do have some issues here with the moving this is gonna be a little bit funky because of the shape keys but uh, if I enable proportional editing actually make it big enough so, uh, just gonna scale it down a bit now. It's affected by the shape keys, and if we adjust this, the shape key will get also adjusted. So, but this is just a minor thing I just want to really quickly fix. Uh, I'm gonna just push everything here a little bit back. This is like one vertex being a little bit of a B word. Um, so. Yeah, another thing is like disabling these again and then actually going into modeling uh, this properly. So going in here and actually dragging this a little bit more to the inside with our X mirror on definitely. Yeah, and then normally we go back. Uh, That's fine. I mean, there's a small fold here, but this is uh, the inside is gonna be black. I don't think that will be that big of an issue. Although, uh, we could fix it, I guess. Uh, I should stop being so lazy. <laughs> I do procrastinate. Uh, so, I'm just gonna go into the added upper. I'm just gonna move this. I'm not gonna put the X mirror on. I'm gonna try to move this ever so slightly up here and back here. 
and then of course in the eyelid of R we want to kind of do the same but uh, there we go so it's kind of asymmetrical now but it's such small detail that it doesn't really matter there we go and we see I'm kind of a limp eye <laughs> uh, yeah. like if he looks tired there we go yeah it looks good I'm kind of sitting there it's kind of like hmm uh, I'm bored you know all right so I'm gonna enable subdivision again um, there's this other modifier that you can apply uh, that kind of automatically fixes these um, seams but I think for this look and feel it looks fine there's a small issue popping up here but I think that's just the ambient occlusion so I'm just gonna go uh, into my solid view although is it let's see let's uh, enable our rig again uh, no this does seem to be an intersection issue but uh, I don't think it's that big of an issue Actually, we're kind of working low budget as well right so keep that in mind uh, so we, we do want to make some sacrifices um, but sacrifices on the part of technical like not have everything technical perfect but everything aesthetic should be as good as possible of course um, uh, so Amar asks are you using shape poses for the uh, creases um, I might for some if they cause an issue uh, but um, I think a lot of uh, I think like the sitting pose is going to be important because we see them a lot in there and for that we're gonna add some shape keys to have the pants uh, correctly uh, be in the correct position for that uh, Mike Myers asks I forgot or missed it does this short have a title not yet so if you want to suggest the title go along you know the story um, hello Scott 33 you're new to the stream I think spoilers I'm only on episode 3 well, yeah, <laughs> catch up, man. <laughs> uh, you have about 30 hours of content uh, to go. Um, but uh, you can watch along like uh, every time we're, we're, we're kind of tackling other issues. Um, but yeah, glad that you like the streams. Uh, and welcome. I welcomed you with open arms. All right, good, so so the idea is that we get them in different poses uh, and we add things that we want to add um, for that pose to make more sense. Uh, for the first one, we're going to go really easy. Um, uh, so view, view, put render image. And we're just going to save this image, save as, and we're just going to overwrite the zero one there. So now we're going to add some facial yeah, because this is just a post reference library um, that we like can reference back like hey where did what go wrong and such and uh, it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't hurt to um, have that so I'm gonna press all the bones and select alt R G S uh, that didn't work this is again alt R G oh yeah I know what's going on so I need to enable my backbones as well alt R G S all right and object mode, I'm also going to reset them to his position. Delete the cube, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to open up his eyelids again. So I'm going to push this to 1.2 and 1.2. There we go. So we want to kind of add some facial animation, right? Some facial things we can change. So we, uh, we have a shape key here where he smiles, but that's kind of like... Uh, I was kind of on the fly. Uh, we shouldn't really use this because we really want to control the different parts of the move. Uh, and once we have those uh, shape keys in place, we actually want to go ahead and um, um, put bones that control those shape keys in place. So we can actually push the eyelids um, down, for instance, on the... Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a shame that they haven't added open subdivision to 2.8 because uh, deforming your mesh uh, while subdividing has become so slow. Let me put the quality down. 
but I think because these are not that many faces and yeah, we're working with 50k faces and it, I mean this is something a game engine could could um, <laughs> deform in real time. Uh, summer, fall, winter, spring is occupied. Yeah, <laughs> Dogville occupied. Yeah, um, like uh, I guess maybe we can use one of the um, random words. It's just like a single word is always kind of artistic. Um, um, so yeah, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna keep this shape key as reference, but just like smile. Uh, I'm just gonna call temp dash smile. Uh, and we're gonna disable it. There we go. Disable it. Stop smiling. What are you doing? Oh, my number wasn't on. Okay. <laughs> it's immediately sad. So. Um, I think the most important part, maybe to add first, is maybe not the smile, but the eyebrows. So. Uh, kind of want to add the eyebrows to the mesh of the face so i'm going to just press ctrl j to join them uh yes so that we uh, don't have to move two separate objects we can just uh, have the uh have everything move as it would be one mesh and not do it on a shape key that's not active uh, Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new shape key. I call this eyebrow dash l dash. Uh, so capital L uh, dash inner. Uh, disgust doesn't suit much, but whatever. Yeah, I guess that's not much of a spring killer. Oh, and the message got retracted again. You said it. Bad word again. Nobody say assets, by the way. <laughs> um, hey, Tortello, welcome to the stream. Welcome back. Uh, that washing machine in the background. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm I'm doing my laundry. Uh, I, I did close the door to the lawn, but yeah, it's it's currently taking off the space as we speak. Uh, and normally, yeah. So what we need to do. We're just gonna disable all the other shape keys, and then normally, if we move this. It's not moving. Oh, because yeah, this is on. We don't want it on. Okay, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna put the influence to smooth again. Yeah, but it's that's the word. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and without too much. I also gotta put it a little bit forward. I am gonna. I kind of want the most extreme version of this de deformation, right? <coughs> I'm already gonna look how this looks. Uh, it goes a bit too inward too much. So I'm gonna put this a little bit back to the right. And maybe we can uh, check. Uh, I'm gonna put the minimum and maximum to minus two. So we can see, oof, boy. What that does to um, yeah, we see that completely breaks up here, but up to here kind of works. Um, I think like maybe it should go a little bit to the left, and uh, maybe poke out a little bit here on top, a little bit inward, uh, yeah, a little bit more there. Now we're just like playing around, uh, animating as well. May I overdid that a little bit. So, I'm gonna copy the name. I'm gonna just delete it. Try again. Paste. Alright. Um, I mean, uh, in that effect, you could only animate the eyebrows. So, if we just would be like. Uh, animate the whole thing. That wouldn't hurt that much. But if we have textures and they don't deform, it's gonna kinda look weird. But. Maybe, maybe we can get away with it. Um, so again, if I put the minus two, let's see how this looks on the other way. Kind of looks nice. Kind of looks okay. Huh. Minus one. I kind of put some on 1.5. 
I'm gonna see how this looks when the islands are open. Okay. Um, I think I think maybe we can get away with it. Um, uh, did one one someone else say it again? Mike is being nasty. Yeah, <laughs> Mike, you're nasty. Hello to the new viewers, by the way. Welcome and thanks for the likes, guys. Really means a lot. Uh, all right, so. So now we kind of want to add another shape key and we want to call this one L outer. Go in here and kind of want just to um, along, of course, or maybe just put it down, it's going to be easier. I'm not sure if that's going to work. I'm just going to do this and I'm going to place the eyebrow a little bit lower here because uh, I think it's also good to deform the mesh a little bit. So I'm going to put this to minus 1 and 1.5. Let's play around with it. So yeah, this kind of like the, the other one dragging a little bit of the skin, it adds a lot, it adds so much. Yeah. Kind of like, it kind of emphasizes the emotion. So now we could go like super angry mm. I'm also going to do this for the eyebrow inner I'm just gonna grab a little bit I'm just gonna keep it subtle yeah so now this kind of moves along it doesn't move if you go into a uh, wireframe mode and enable x-ray so we see this better um, you see that the skin doesn't move that much along with the eyebrow we just want to make sure not to bake any ambient, uh, well, we're not going to bake ambient occlusion, but not to have any anything here that's on the skin that would give away that it's an eyebrow. Right? Uh, there's an eyebrow there, so. Uh, right. It can be like, this is, this is an extreme pose, right? But if we would make this less extreme, and uh, it would like look a little bit angry, it would be like, yeah. Oh, it's Alan, by the way, just my other account. Hey, Alan, how you doing? All applause for Alan. Um, so, I'm gonna put this on zero. I'm gonna put this on zero. Um, a duplicate shape key button would be hella nice. Because now I need to put this one on one, and then I need to put new shape from mix. That's kind of like, yeesh. Or uh, this one on zero, put this one on one, and then say mirror shape key. That's perfect. Two or three vertices failed. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that for now. That's a good practice, ignore problems. <laughs> um, as we kind of see, kind of, he's kind of troubled now, so that's nice. Uh, hey, Tortello, please refrain from spamming caps. <laughs> what were you spamming? Uh, you were banned for one second. I'm gonna check, like, you should be able to spam caps. What's all that's all, what's all that about? So I have to check, like, um, the uh, chat box in OBS doesn't work with the new... Or does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, I put it on top. Yeah, I know. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, I don't want to go to the store. Studio. Live. I don't know. Oh, here. The cloud bot. Yeah. Uh, oh, it seems like Twitter said some nasty words. Uh, it, all your messages got deleted, so your history of this chat is, is now permanently uh, banned. Uh, caps protection. Yeah, that is on, and I cannot select it. Oh yeah, preferences. Punishment perch. I'm just gonna put it on timeout for like five seconds. Okay. 
So now that is safe. Mm -hmm. Safe settings, yes. Hey, I'm good, thanks, and how are you? You sounded so excited, I want to respond to excited too. Yeah, and you got punished for it. Yeah, it's just uh, well, a catch I'm gonna put it off, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'm good, I'm fine. I'm making my boy angry. He looks angry now. I'm gonna put this on one, I'm gonna put this one on zero, and then we're just gonna say new shape from mix, and we're gonna call this one uh, our outer. Because also, uh, so this goes from minus one to 1.5, and the inner one goes from the same. Okay, minus one to 1.5. Okay, so we want all those settings, and then the eyebrow outer. Uh, we want to mirror shape key, and also three, three, 33 vertices failed. That's the same number. I'm wondering which 33 these are, but I have a feeling that if I select a circle, we're gonna have I don't know, 22 vertices. Oh, close, but no cigar. All right, so now with the, sh uh, the shape piece for the eyes already being there, let's already put in some bones to control these, actually. Um, I've been here twice, and both times everyone comments get deleted eventually. Yeah, this is the effect you have on my stream, Alan. How dare you? <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. You're welcome. I see that the eyes are not completely shut when they're shut. That's uh, maybe the eyelids should be no problem. Yeah, we're also gonna add eyelids and stuff like. Uh, that's gonna be fairly easy. I should do first things first, right? But so the ears are still like just flaps because he has such long. Although no, they're ears. That's fine. Um. All right. Let's see here. So how do we do this? Uh, I'm first gonna um, hide this rig and I'm gonna make a separate rig for the facial rig I'm just gonna add it to the other rig and then that way there's there's not gonna be any problems famous last words <laughs> so I'm just gonna go up here um, no I'm not gonna go I'm just gonna put the viewport display in front um, Gonna, yeah, it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, well, I'm just gonna put the origin here, okay? Yeah, then I'm gonna make a new bone and kind of just want to hello, camera by camera. Just gonna kind of put the center, the center of the bone is actually just the, the bottom of the bone because the bone doesn't really have a pivot as you would think about. It. Uh, we kind of want to put that on uh, the lower eyelid here, right? Doesn't really matter how big the bone is because it's just the position of the bone that matters, and we're just going to give it a, a, a custom shape anyway. Um, and we're going to just duplicate it and Z for the oh, uh, lower eyelid. Yeah, I'm going to just put a little bit to the side, doesn't really matter, so we can see what's going on. I'm going to call this one uh, I dash L dash uh, eyelid. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna eyelid dash L uh, upper eyelid. Uh, so eyelid dash upper dash capital L. Uh, and then for this one, we're gonna do eyelid uh, downer, up, under. What's the opposite of upper? Lower, lower. There we go. All right. And of course, we want kind of want these closer to the eye, like uh, this is where our control is gonna be. Um, and then of course, I'll duplicate. Uh, and I want two bones. Their respective places here. I just have them point up. That's fine. Uh, eyebrow dash inner dash because uh, it's inward to the face dash L because it's the left side of the face and then eyebrow dash outer dash L okay oops and without a slash okay 
These are already the four shaped keys on one side of the face that we want to control with these bones. So, how do we do that? Um, so, are we, uh, so in post mode, kind of have these bones now that we can just run around. Uh, we already kind of want to limit these. So, we want to limit all the rotation because we don't want to rotate the bones. We also want to limit the scale because also we also want to scale the bones. So we're going to do that uh, for, all, for all of these. There we go. And then uh, we just want to move them in the Z axis, right? So we just want to move it up and down. We could also like, hmm. We could also not do that and just actually attach the formation to this bone. Actually, that's also an interesting point. Okay, so we're going to do it that way, the easy way. I, I was trying to point to the camera, but I'm pointing to my microphone. I want to point to the camera. Uh, my camera is kind of high up. You kind of see like the weird upper part of my face there. Is, is it okay now? I'm like, okay, good. Commencing liftoff. Um, so we're going to try one thing. If it doesn't work, we're not going to do it. But the thing I do want to try is uh, I am going to create another bone here that kind of goes uh, perpendicular with the um, uh, with the two bones, right? Uh, and I'm gonna go into bendy bones. I'm gonna put uh, it on B bones so we can see what we're doing here. And I'm gonna add a bendy bone. And I'm just gonna try and shape it like our eyebrow. So there is a way to actually make this the envelope smaller uh, but it's not through this so it's not through this um, envelope nope radius nope it's scale uh, it's not control s because that's safe <laughs> like in any other software uh, so change scale b bone blender we're cheating here, it doesn't go inside the view window. Seems to be an issue. Control Alt S, there we go. There we go. Hey, Martin. Uh, vocal Fry. Uh, so it's apparently this. Yes, very good. So now we can see like a little bit what's going on. Uh, it's just Control Alt S. My screencast keys, I have to readjust every time. God damn. So we're just gonna go in here and adjust the curve so that it fits. And then I want the start handle to be absolute the eyebrow inner. Yes. And absolute the eyebrow outer. And apparently I have to adjust the roll again. That's awesome. Okay, so now in post mode, this doesn't move, okay. Um, I'm really quickly, really quickly, really quickly gonna go to our dear buddy, <laughs> Google. Because um, I'm just missing a. Hello, boys and girls. My name oh. is Yeah. That was supposed to happen. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear another tutorial on my channel. How dare I? <laughs> uh, let me put this on my headphones here. Okay, okay, okay. I know all this. Oh, okay, so yeah, the thing we need to add. Also, Danny Mac has this amazing tutorial on Bendy Bones. He explains it in three minutes uh, how we're gonna do it. So go to his channel, give him a like. He is amazing. Uh, so, stretch to, I wanna stretch to the eyebrow outer. So that, yeah, there we go. Look at this. And then uh, we want to, in add modes, 
uh, keep the parent on this and then normally yes look at this so now uh, we kind of have an eyebrow that we can move um, so at the moment we're just gonna go and move this around kind of want to uh, put this tail uh, on the exact position as this bone so I don't know if the align tools work in edit mode for no, apparently not. It's a shame. So we're just gonna go and uh, put this this uh, head position on this tail position. Just gonna copy and paste and copy and paste. There we go. So now it's kind of like. Oof. Reset. Okay, yeah, just press reset. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then now we can. Uh, what if I rotate this now? Oh, we can rotate it as well. Like, ooh, that is that's actually exciting stuff. So, I'll also enable rotation here. I'm gonna put it on a wax size oiler as always. And if this works, we're still going to do the shape keys on the uh, the controllers because it's a lot easier on the eyebrows, uh, eyelids. Excuse me. Um, let's put it more here. The thing we're actually going to do now is uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna save a new file, right? Um, I was going to rename this. We're going to call this points. Seven boy, uh, let's say refine to one. Kind of going off track here with my naming, but uh, yeah, lessons will be learned and applied in the next in the next project. <laughs> um, so we want to really quickly try. It's just I'm just gonna set parent to uh, no parent is to this with automatic weights, yes, and then normally, so this doesn't work now because, oh boy. Um, yeah, we're just gonna see a little for a second uh, because he tries to put it on different bones, but if we just, yeah, so if we just say control P armature deform, uh, then normally this is not going to add any, nope. And um, we're just going to call this bone here, we're just going to call it eyebrow dash L. All right. And then we go into, um, the vertex groups and we add one eyebrow dash, uh, L. And we're just gonna go select our eyebrow just just to test it out and just sign it. Oh no, this the vertex weights appear again. Oh, I missed you last time. Oh my god, this is amazing. So because now if we just um, move this bone to our hidden bones, let's put them in the back, and we just move these around, we can actually just. Rotate it around and just move our eyebrows as we want without having to use a shape key, and then it gives us total freedom. Um, and I think we're gonna do that. <laughs> so, hey Scott, now you could make a horror movie out of it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I think this is pretty cool. Um, so, another thing we could do. Uh, is if we hide away this, uh, come on, focus here. Okay, don't hide it. Just, uh, oh god. So if we select these vertices, you know, and also assign it and then go to weight paint you yeah. know let me see it's kind of like woof i'm gonna go to blur i'm kind of blur it strength yeah 
uh, blur this out a bit but we don't want it to touch the eyelid right so yeah, I'm gonna go into my weight and then I'm gonna remove it from that here so now creepy things happen Weight paint. What is happening here? Um, object mode. I'm gonna uh, go back in here. Oh, this is this is just amazing. True art, true art being created here. Yeah, because kind of uh, <laughs> what we kind of want to do is um, I don't get why there's oh because yeah okay we need to reset this again yeah okay there we go um, but because yeah we need to kind of smooth it out further I want to. Smooth. Because, I mean, I think the big issue is because there's no other smoothing groups um, actually, uh, or weights actually assigned, right? So, it's just like, it's deforming this because there's nothing else deforming it. Um, uh, and I think that might be the issue, but it's kind of working. Uh, and we're gonna check the skinning once we uh, add it to the rest of the rig. So the controls, the control is working, so we can use that. But now, yeah, uh, if you just go into the weight paint or just go into edit mode and just uh, remove, um, then we kind of see what the result is. And we kind of see that's uh, exactly what we want. Um, can even go in, in here and. Uh, in. Huh, that's weird. Kind of move this around and rotate. Um, I'm kind of wondering what happens if I put this on tangent. Well, then I can actually. I put this on zero again, but. Mm, that's weird. And now let's put it back on absolute. Or relative? No. Let's put it back on absolute. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now, the more traditional way, of course, uh, which we, what we're going to do with the eyelids, is actually um, going into our shape keys. I'm getting. Uh... <laughs> Hi. Hey, Julie. How you doing? Um, I'm actually going to go to the shape key of our eyelid upper all right uh hey zoip so zuhaib amat sorry if i butchered your name there great work thanks for sharing your skills with the community i appreciate your dedication oh thanks i also appreciate my dedication from time to time we're gonna add a driver to uh to the value here right and already automatically says far plus 1.2 because it was a 1.2 and then it we're just gonna put this on Nothing. All right. All right. Okay. So, what uh, what is our variable here? We want to. Whoops. Add it to driver. Okay. Account I pick. Okay. Rig. The rig of the boy. And our bone will be our eyelid. I. Oh no! Wait. We want our other rig. What is this rig called? Oh. Rig dash face. I made this for the sole purpose. Uh, let's put this also in boy. That's gonna be easier to add this. So, uh, object face, and then in here we have our eyebrow, uh, eyelid upper, right? Uh, and then of course we wanna put the type of what he needs to get from that variable because now it's just uh, all the transformation variables. It, it picks the X location. We want the Z location because we wanna move it up and down. And the space is local space because we want uh, not the, the the value of 
where it is in world space, but the relative where it's posed. So a bone will always, if it's in resting pose, always be on zero, zero, zero. So he will be getting this value. And that's the wrong value, of course, because these are bones, uh, y is up. Well, we post this, uh, we post it up and a bone, its direction is its y axis. So we kind of actually kind of made a small mistake here, added the driver and we want a y location. So that's also cleared up then. And now we see that if you move this up, our eye moves up. But of course, we see that we need to drag this really along. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put my, uh, I'm gonna hide my camera again. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, my, in edit mode, I'm gonna put my bone where I want it to go. So I'm also gonna lock location, everything except C, uh, everything except Y, uh, uh, I was testing you there. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put it where I want it to go. And I'm looking really at the bottom of the bone because that's the center. Um, and then in the driver, I'm just gonna put times two. Uh, not enough, times 20, uh, that's enough. I think a little bit too much. We can, we can just see actually what the value is. So it's 0.16, uh, so we can just copy that value. Actually, if you wanna do it really accurate, you can do it this way. Edit, uh, edit driver, and then you do far times one over that value that you just copied, delete the M. There we go. And then it will be exactly that value for one. So, and then uh, we see here that it's exactly what we want it to be. So now we can, uh, another thing we want to add is add a bone constraint. Uh, we want to limit the location to a maximum Y of um the value we just pasted because we want to see actually because a thing that i uh whoops no no um <laughs> there my entire screen went for a sec because we see here that we have 1.2 right as our maximum value so we want to go into the driver and uh we actually want to put 1.2 over this value and so 1.2, which is our maximum value over um, the distance, the actual distance our Y bone does, right? So that looks correct. We can maybe uh, adjust it if we want. So let's say, ah, uh, it looks more like it's here. Okay, let me copy this value. Uh, you see, math in school pays off. <laughs> Added the driver. Uh, check. Chat. I, I know. I know you texted me, Julie. It's uh, it's okay. Yeah, I know you can hear the dishwasher. Oh, let me try something. Okay. So can you hear the dishwasher now? I shouldn't do the. Uh, it's not the dishwasher, by the way. It's the it's the laundromat. Um. Uh. But yeah. Okay. I put the sensitivity a bit down. Put the microphone a bit closer. It should be better. Um. All right, so now we have this placed perfectly. So now this just moves along greatly. Okay. Um, and what we do want to do now is uh, add a maximum. We're just going to uh, copy this value, put it there. And now, uh, one in local space. There we go. So now we have a bone that we just can move up and down and to limit itself. So now I see though that it's still like, it limits it after the value is there. So it's kind of weird. I don't, I'm not sure if you want that. Oh, sorry, yeah, we can check on four transforms. That's important. So we want to check on four transforms. So if we move it up, that this value stays on the locked. It's going to be important because if we're animating and the value is actually, if we check this off, if the value is up here and we animate it to, like, let's say, zero, then that animation is not going to be um, timed correctly because it's, it's going to animate the value from, let's say, one to zero. 
and it's only affecting once it hits point uh, seven eight. So we're just gonna uh, check this on for transform, and that's gonna do the edit here. So now we can. Uh, can already have two bones. Uh, it's kind of looking nice. Okay, we wanna do the same with the lower bone. So we're gonna do front view. I kind of in edit mode. Kind of wanna adjust a little bit. Put it here, and I'm gonna put it down. Uh, I mean, we could all already put the lower uh, on its maximum value. There we go. Uh, all right. Uh, and then we're just going to have the same steps. Where we go back to the shape key. We add a driver. Uh, we're going to select no. That doesn't work. We're just gonna select the face rig, the eyelid lower, dash L, its Y location in local space. Um, and that's gonna be, so we copy, uh, yeah, so we copy that value. So that's gonna be var times, uh, so the maximum value is one, one over that distance. There we go. Doesn't work because the value is actually minus one, I think. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, because it's moving down, right? So it moves down. It's actually not doing what I expected it to be. Just gonna check what I did wrong. No, that's the same formula. Oh, wait, times minus, okay, no, still nothing, <laughs> that's weird. Cause oh, one is still, okay, down there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so what we want, what we want, what we want, what we want, uh, is to we add that driver no it's gone forever add driver okay uh, we want our face rig we want our eyelid uh, lower its y location in local space and we want minus brackets the variation at uh, the var the variation the variable uh, times uh, one over our distance here and that doesn't work why doesn't this work nothing works great <laughs> so now we have to investigate why this doesn't work right so our I'm just gonna check if the driver is correct um oh it's invalid why is it an oh we forgot a break okay there we go that's still not correct okay so it's kind of moving as we want it but it's not taking the correct i didn't scale this right Oh, I think I, I didn't have the correct value in here, so I'm just gonna copy this value again. Uh, gonna select my face, yes. Go to shape keys, add a driver. Yeah, that, that was the issue. No, don't use self. Uh, yes. And I think I actually don't need this, so we can just use this. There we go. So now, there it is. There it is. Beautiful. So now we can move this up. I think we just want to move it up to here, by the way. So we, now we can adjust it pretty easily, right? So now I'm seeing uh, this kind of minimum. So let's put this to minus 0.2 maybe. And then th that will not affect. Uh, all right. And then we kind of want to add the same uh, bone constraint. 
to um, uh, limit location. And because I moved to Bruin, I kind of want to check this in our driver, what that value was. Yeah. Um, poof, poof, poof. Come on. There we go. Uh, bone. Uh, constraints. Yeah, there we go. Minimum Y. Put this value. So it's for transform. Yeah, there we go. And then maximum value is. Actually, check this. Oof, there it stops moving. Uh, or we can use math. Let's use math. Our minimum range is minus 0.2. So what we could do is go into the bone constraints and do maximum minus 0.2 times that value that we copied. And then we have our maximum value. And then that fits perfectly. Do, 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 do. So now we can even um, with the scale commands open and close uh, the eyes if you want. Oh, why are you all the way over there? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, local space, local space. There we go. So. Snip, 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 snip. Let's uh, turn off our subdivision so we can preview this a little bit faster. Yeah, so that's nice. There we go. Kind of have it look suspicious. Let's put our eye on. Okay. <laughs> Funny, this can fly out over here. But yeah, we kind of want to give freedom, right? To our animator. So now, even if we disable, we only need this layer. So, kind of move the eye controls. I can really go crazy with the uh, with the motions here. Yes, Lo I'm coming. I'm coming. Man, oh, good news, the laundry is done. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna go readjust my voice here. That's better. Oh, it's a bit lower. There we go. That's the sweet spot. Um, all right. So I'm gonna go uh, put these back to their original positions. Hmm. All right, so now how do we copy this to the other side? I'm just gonna go select these armature. Now I'm just gonna select these ones, armature and symmetrize. And of course, Blender catches this perfectly and everything can be no <laughs> so for this we're not gonna worry because it kind of works here and we're just gonna reskin everything so that it does work um but we do need to update our drivers so i'm gonna go into our shape keys and activate these two um so the only thing they took with them are the uh, limit locations and they're fine because it's Y. We don't need to mirror anything, so that's fine. And then the only thing we need to do is add a driver. Uh, we actually copy the driver from the other side, paste the driver, edit it, and then we just need instead of the L, just change to R. There we go. And copy uh, this driver, paste it here. Added the driver, so we just copy it from left to right, right? Come on. Uh, I would love to this window not to disappear once you move your uh, mouse out of it. Just something that you can pop over there. I know you can put up the driver menu and stuff. That would be the smart thing to do. 
but yeah. And there, I close this perfectly. So, normally now, there we go, that works. Kind of see if there's some issue with this island. So let me move down. Hmm. Things we're gonna fix. Uh, I kind of want to go in here. Oh, yeah, so it's this vertex and this vertex being a little bit too much up. I'm just gonna move down a little bit. Oh, I think this is still with the. Yeah, so with our upper eyelids, that goes up. Yeah, there we go. Just some small fixes. Everything looks fine now. Oops. All right. I like the bandy bones approach. Uh, hopefully, it'll work out the way uh, I want it to work out. Uh, <laughs> that'll be exciting. Um, and I kind of want to add the same thing for the move. Uh, so the mouth is going to be a combination of um, shape keys and bandy bones. Whereas we kind of want to have three bones. We want to have one at each corner that we can move up and down and that, like in a smile or in a frown. Um, and then we also want one where we can um, purse, purse the lips. Like, thank God we don't need a uh, voice. Hello, R3ST Android. Are you an actual Android? You would be the first one on this channel, so welcome. Subscribe, like, hit the bell button, and all that good stuff. Um, for me, one thing I first want to add is going to edit mode of the actual. Um, man, this. Um, and actually add another key here, right? Um, like this, and I'm gonna cl uh, not clear the parent, I just wanna disconnect the bone. And I'm gonna put already a bone in for the jaw, right? The jaw, like it turns around here. So that's the actual bone of the jaw, like uh, we want to be able to move that up. So we're just going to call this bone jaw. There we go. And then, because I kind of want to open the jaw, right? Um, and in that, we want so our vertex group jaw. And we can already uh, go into our teeth. Hold on. Oh, there they are. I thought it disappeared. Uh, these are also aligned to. No. How do these get deformed at the moment? Oh, they're just. Uh, Yes, yeah, so we want to clear the parent so it's not parented to the bone anymore, but we actually want to add an armature uh, before the subdivision. And that's going to be the Rick boy. And the only thing this is going to be uh, is the head. Yes, I'm going to assign that. That's very good. And then we want to pick the lower teeth, do the same armature. Um, Object Rick Boy. I don't have any music on. I would like some music. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I've started watching Critical Role, but damn, these episodes are long. Three hours, who does that? <laughs> um, just gonna, uh, yes. There we go. Make sure the stream doesn't hear this. Nope. If you want to listen along, I'm listening to a fantasy music daydream mix. Just if you look up fantasy music, it's like the first or second. Kind of get in an epic mood. All right. Let's go back to our live streaming. Uh, all right. 
So rig boy, and we want to add one vertex group called the jaw. And we're just gonna assign it to all the vertexes. So that's uh, also our tongue. We want to add to our jaw, so we're also gonna add a vertex group jaw. Uh, assign it. Um, I don't want to add parent to our mature with empty envelopes and stuff because it's gonna add so much vertex groups. It, it's not necessary. Um, Preserve the volume, and we're gonna add different bones for the tongue later, so he can stick his tongue out. But like specific for this animation, it's not needed. But we kind of want to make a pose where he can stick his tongue out, right? Um, so now, moving this will normally already do nothing at all. Why not? Oh wait, what? Great. Yeah, so. Oh, here he did this. Okay. Sign. Alright, and now for the tricky part, we want to go into. Uh, we added the jaw for Dex group. We want to go to in weight paint. Make sure our X mirror is on. And start painting the jaw line. So I'm gonna go in here. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna find the jawline, a little bit of the neck, good. I'm gonna uh, really like the the bones in there. I'm really gonna emphasize. And then uh, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna start applying this to the lips uh, and less on here um, it's gonna stretch a little bit here it's fine maybe okay so it, it does mix okay good come on <laughs> a little bit lower here yeah okay all right now we do want to drag down I want to check if this works with the gradient here um, brush to a preview. Oh my god, Blender crashed. Ah. <laughs> After 33 hours, we have our first Blender crash 2.8. Ah, oh, that is awesome. Wow, I'm, I'm, see, I'm seeing myself work on my other screen, unaware that it's gonna crash in a second. So beautiful to see. Just gonna check myself. Yeah, there, there it is. Uh, oh, that is beautiful. Oh boy. So, <laughs> haven't shaved in a while, but uh, we do have our auto save feature on. I hope. So we're going to Blender. Go File, Recover. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm just seeing it happen on my other screens. Auto save. So, oh my god, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's the sculpt I made. Don't look at that. <laughs> I was trying out the sculpt mode in the other in 2.81. It's a very short route, don't look at it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't lose too much work, I guess. Man, the autosave really did not save at the right time. Oh, come on. Uh, I have been saving, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, there's still a, a bunch of work um, lost. Um, I guess, no, I think, yeah. Boy, refined here one. Yeah, that's the, that's the latest one. So what did we save? 
<laughs> so this what this worked. Oh god, we didn't even put the the, the drivers up. Oh no. Okay. Sure, let's just do that really quickly. She's gonna um Oh man. I don't want to. Oh man, that is. <sighs> I think you need an auto save feature to turn on. No blender has one. Yeah, yeah, it auto saves, but only like every half an hour or something. Let's go into preferences. Let's check. Um, man, why does it open the pre preferences so big? Um, save and load. Auto save. It saves every two minutes. So why didn't it this time? Why didn't it save? Why didn't it save? Or save every two minutes. Yeah, right. Thirteen or two, thirteen ten. Was it the 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 buffer of the poesy auto saved? Oh man. Okay. That's what. F yeah, thirty to forty minutes of work. <sighs> that is awesome. Thank you, Blender. Thank you for being a stable release. Production ready. Subversion or a kit feature for Blender would be cool. What do you mean? I mean, you can just set up a kit for, for Blender, right? <laughs> you don't have, you, it doesn't have to be a feature. Oh well, yeah, okay, of course. I mean, um, Unity has and Unreal have, have these tools where it automatically pushes your changes if you press the button, but I mean, um, not sure if Blender needs that. I'm actually gonna go a little bit faster on this one where I will just say, like, uh, these are on their maximum values. Okay, so I'm gonna move these in edit mode. No, in post mode. To this point and to this point. Copy this value. Go into the shape key outlet upper. Uh, put in a driver. Edit driver. That is far times one over the value. Okay. Off our face. Oh man, I didn't even rename the face. Rick, yeah. So we're gonna call this face Rick. Uh, okay, so add a driver. Face. Face. I didn't press enter. I did. Why is it not working? Uh, face, hello? What's going on? Why didn't, oh, yeah, right, there's a difference between the object name and the actual armature name. Yeah, okay, no problem. You can hear, add a driver, face rig, wire location, it's the eyelet upper, Local space. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, and we want to add driver to 1.2 because that's the actual maximum value. Good. So this one works. Good. And then go. Oh oh, oh there we go. Copy this location. Go back in here. Add it to driver. Uh, put in face rig. Put in. A little lower, uh, it's Y location and local space, and then do var one over minus because one is the extreme value, not M, just like this. This doesn't work for the exact same reason that it didn't work earlier, I guess. Because oh, no, don't. oh my god, are you serious? Did it just crash again? Oh my god, I am losing my mind. <laughs> okay, it crashed again. How fun. Recover last session. No, don't recover that session. Stop showing that to the world. Uh, file, recover, auto save. 
I did actually auto save this time. That is that is genius. So now, did, okay, we have this. Let's just save it for now. <laughs> okay, good. Save it as a new file. Okay, so we didn't lose anything this time. Wow, what was about to? I don't know. So it was before we added this driver. Okay. Wow, two crashes in one day. We didn't have a single crash in the first thirty hours of this, and now, now it starts crashing. Now we start getting into the detail stuff. Okay, so phase rig. There we go. Um, a little lower. I think I might just also select the wrong bone just now. It was just blender uh, four um, times one over this value. Okay, then let's check it out. Yes. Okay. So the only thing we need to do now go into these bones, put a bone constraint, uh, limit location on transform for the Y. Uh, and for this one, it's just this. Limit location for transform. Uh, should be the minimum and the maximum should be that times minus dot two. All right. Um, uh, oh yeah, and then of course we need to limit the other locations. That's kind of doing something weird. Huh. Doesn't really make much sense, right? Oh, right, right. Local space and local space. There we go. Uh, we had it better before, so this one is fine. But uh, okay, it does do version. I never noticed it will change that. Is it probably something wrong with one of the bones? It does not like. Maybe that is causing the crash. Maybe who knows. Let's just do this. I, I sometimes notice that if I go too fast with Blender, it will also crash if I don't like give it time to operate something. Just, I mean, weird if you think from a programmer's perspective that that's even possible. I think I think the reason that it, uh, I mean, it's just fine. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't make. This times minus point two. Am I? No. This times one over point two. Yeah, whatever. Maximum should be here, right? By this value. That's doesn't really so oh I see I see what's going on okay so we kind of want the point to be here and yeah in post mode kind of want to turn this off for a second and we want it to go here right this is the minimum and uh, this times minus point two is the maximum and then in our drivers we want to adjust that Add a driver that it's oh, man. there we go yes so now poof 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 and yeah, we kind of wanted to limit it up till here right so we can just limit come on <laughs> no I was correct uh, limit our location. Why is it not showing location now? Oh, because it was perfectly on zero. They just put perfectly on zero. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Save. Select these bones. Put armature. Symmetrize. to here copy 
driver, pace driver. I'm going real, going real fast over this so that we are at the same point again. Um, and then we just want to add this R. Okay. Copy driver, pace driver. Add a driver. Now this should work beautifully. Oh, it it didn't take a constraint to them? Yes it did. So why is it not working? Oh, because yes. Good. Okay. So that's working, that's working, that's working. Save! <laughs> Look at that. If you do something the second time around, it goes four times faster. All right, so as I was saying, the move, um, we were adding the jaw. Yeah, that's that's what I haven't done at the moment yet. Uh, wait, let me check. Oh, God. If you want to go into the face, want to add this bone, going to disconnect the bone. I'm going to put it here where the jaw is. In postman, I'm gonna rotate it. I'm also gonna call it jaw object mode edit mode. No, I'm gonna hide the body for a second. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. <laughs> I'm gonna um, for these, I'm gonna clear the parent. Oh, not for the eyes. What am I doing? For these three, I want to clear the parent. Okay. And what I want to do is add an armature deform of the uh, rig boy. Uh, add a vertex group for the upper teeth called face. And assign this. And then same for this one jaw. And we can actually just. Control L make links for the modifiers. And then here with jaw assign. And that opens up. And for the same here. Jaw assign. And that open up. Good. And this is creepy. <laughs> Alright. And now I want to save. And now we're going to that step again that crashed earlier. This is gonna be exciting. Um so we're gonna single this out. And I'm gonna go. Add on a vertex group, jaw. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm saving every two seconds now. <laughs> I don't trust this program anymore. Weight paint. Um, okay, I'm just gonna add. I'm just gonna add one. For the jaw, I'm gonna start drawing. Maybe I should have not uh, opened the jaw as much as I did. Because now I'm gonna have kind of a trouble of these places that's already oh no, no, jaw can it kind of weird that okay there we go okay, there we go okay so I'm saving I didn't put on my X mirror so we're just gonna gradient this wait zero can I do that? Yes. Strength one. Hopla. There we go. Move everything again. Redo it. Wait. X mirror is on. What are you talking about? There we go. Or I just turned it on. Okay. Um, does it actually matter? Yeah, it matters. I, I see a lot of crashes also happening. Uh, maybe with the um. Um. Control Z, like it sometimes does funky stuff. Like I, I try to teach myself not to use Control Z when I can use something else, just for that reason. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to have go hard on this jaw. Kind of going to object mode. Kind of gonna bring the bones with me. I kind of want to. So I 
kind of uh, this is a X rotation yeah so I'm gonna go XYZ disable and we're gonna enable them again so we can kind of slant the jaw if we need them to but for now this is gonna be I'm just gonna open it a little bit and then I'm gonna go into my weight paint I'm gonna go and paint more of the jaw here but of course now it's gonna start to blur or you know not yeah so I'm gonna paint the neck a little bit blurry here click the average average it out also helps uh, no we don't want to go that far down all right so if we try this out now yeah so an another way by the way I find um, which is gonna make if we go if we just animate our jaw here right and we animate it open now there's an animation here between one and a hundred so I'm gonna put this to hundred so if we now go into weight painting actually we can hide the bones again um, and now if I go scrub in between I can see the influence and that is really helpful so I see here that if I put a gradient constraint zero oh no strength up weight down and actually it doesn't it will not influence it that much so. Oh, come on, really? Oh. I believe in miracles. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Thank God we saved in time this time. Uh, I'm going to actually go into my preferences for a second. I'm going to my add-ons. Skin of fire rig creates a magic performance. And I'm gonna disable this one and I'm also gonna disable rigify for a second because I have a feeling I'm gonna save it. I have a feeling might be wrong. Okay, so strength up, weight zero. I'll disable this, put my X mirror on. We're actually gonna go back into object mode and we're gonna animate this bone. So on the 100 frame, yeah, we want this rotation and then on zero, uh, I kind of want it. I'll go from, oh no, one to 100, okay. Uh, and then you can scrub through this if you want to preview it. So we're just gonna single this out. It paints. Crashes are great. Third crash in one stream. I just wanted to test something out with the gradient tool. I think the gradient tool is causing a lot of the crashes. I don't want to know one thing though. If it yes, it does. Okay, we can check now. Like, Urgh. that looks weird. So now we can go in here and actually disable it. Oops. Man, having. Don't want it to do something a bit lower. Okay, now very smoothly. We're gonna paint out the upper lip. There we go.
There we go. All right. Let's save this. <laughs> I'm never gonna have saved more in my life. So now, also see that. Oh God, what happened here? Massacre. I don't want it to. Oh wait, no. Okay. Oof. I thought for a second it was ignoring front faces uh, like these yes very good and then we're just gonna go average this out so that's a little bit smoother uh, there's something happening here that we don't want to happen but all right and we kind of want to move the rest of the jaw with him of course and we're just gonna go in here and select the jawline, let's select the chin. Really gonna emphasize the chin. And uh, you can start to see we really don't want it to affect the um, the neck here. Just gonna disable that. I can see that there's a weird fold appearing. Uh, I think it's because the neck bone yeah, does something very weird here. So the neck bone, I'm just gonna save again. <laughs> uh, uh, how are we gonna do this? Mix, yeah, sure. We want to go over around the entire neck, right? So now we're just gonna start skinning everything. <laughs> Average this out a little bit so that the jaw here. Why is it pointing? Shin, sure. Head. The head is. Ooh, the head is something very weird. Okay, so let's see here. Our hat. And this is all totally. Yeah. Our ears, just our skull here, and then way less. Oops, way less. Our uh, oh boy, let's see. Uh, a weird line on the neck here. <laughs> just moving the head actually it shouldn't move the jaw that much higher because it's just the jaw is connected to it so but we do want the nose upper everything here there we go nice and easy just happy little brush strokes and save from time to time <laughs> be fine all right so we're going back to our jaw mm -hmm. I kind of want to drag a little bit of the cheek with us just gonna check real yeah. to calm music really helps <laughs> uh, and our neck here yeah so we kind of want to average this out it's a little bit smoother everywhere so there we go this is a smooth brush there for you oh god back to the jaw and we're going to do the same 
And there we go. Now everything kind of moves as it should. Okay, like here, I'll average this out. Uh, go to the head as well. Because um, the issue with this, if you see this, is that um, there's only one bone assigned to it, and then it will not take the average of everything. Which is um, what I think will happen now is that uh, yeah, we're gonna we're not done yet, right? All right, so hmm. I'm gonna check if I move the head, if some weird stuff is happening. No, only the eyebrows are acting funky. Good. As long as we have funky eyebrows, it's good. So, we're going back in here. We got weight paint. An average. Nah, starting to average the lips. Because the, the, the lips are gonna stretch a little bit with everything course uh, we're gonna go to her jaw especially here we see that mm. somebody's brushing the hallway that's weird I'm gonna check here I, I, I think we should delete the head a little bit from here at least from the center. Uh, oh. yeah, because we want our jaw to be fully in control of that. At least of. Kind of look to her own mouth. Like. Yeah, that fully moves. That makes sense. Kind of the rest here, it uh, starts to. Um, like the jaw, it starts to stretch and stuff. I'm just gonna remove this here. It's a little bit trial and error. But we'll get there. But now we're just gonna average. Oh, average is out a little bit. On the sides here. There we go. I don't know what's happening there. Uh, sensitivity of a mic down. So you don't hear. All that ruckus. <laughs> hmm. So what we do want to check with the jaw is that we have a little bit of the upper lip coming along with us. Uh, also, this is an extreme pose, right? Again, so um, still have some weird issues going on here. That we can. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the lower part of the mouth, I'm also going to go in here and remove the head from its influence. Uh, yeah, now we can really see the separation here. Okay, good, 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 good. That's good. Um, and now we just want the jaw to be kind of a little bit smoother. Maybe the head as well. Average it out. And that looks good. I mean, here we still see some issues, like there's extreme stretching. You know, it kind of gets solved with that. Uh, the thing is, he's never going to open his mouth this far, right? So if we go into uh, uh, object mode. We actually unhide everything. Kind of looks like it makes sense, right? So it's like, no. Oh. I think 
Yeah, it works fine. Huh. All the noise. <sighs> I don't know where the sun is coming from. I'm just hearing noises and I'm choosing to ignore them. Hmm. Did I assign UV space for? Seems like I did. That didn't color these white or these red. Okay. Um. So we're gonna real fast do that. I'm gonna go into shading. I'm gonna uh, just do a color. Of a fairly white color. Wait. How is this not applying to the Oh, this is the boy texture, not the boy shader. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, oh yeah, yeah, because we used this, the, this is the boy shader, yeah, and we want to apply this to the boy texture. All right, okay, so go in here. And then um, we're first gonna go to baking. Uh, do I really want to fix this now? Let's fix it later stage when we start texturing. Then we have to fix it anyway. Um, you know what? Let's just go to boy texture. Boy texture. Boy texture. Let's go into texture paint. Fill. That's going to be a little quicker. Tool settings. I'm going to fill it with white. There we go. Gonna put the strength on one. I don't have to click a thousand times. Go into object mode, select the lower teeth, go into texture paint, do the same, poof. Go into object mode, go into the tongue, go into texture paint. Just select. Ah, that's fine. There we go. And then we can. Image, save. All right. Uh, yeah, and it's saved in the correct position. I think like Leonard when it fixed a lot of the issues with the saving. So now, I'm going to lay out here. It kind of has a smile for open. Looks kind of good. That looks good. Healthy teeth, healthy teeth. You brush your teeth, I see. Yes, yes. Good. So that's good. We're going to save this. All right. Uh, now we're going to go back and um, yes, disable the subdivision here. Rah, 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 rah. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm a professional artist. Uh, we're gonna fine tune the scanning a little bit, but first we're gonna add um, other bones to actually deform. Let me just put away some stuff here. Uh, after the break, we're gonna have a short break. I'm just gonna leave you this guy to. I'm gonna be right back.
Hey everybody, welcome back to the stream. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I do notice that there's a huge delay between what am I what I'm recording. Well, not huge. Let's say let's say ten seconds or something. Um, all right. So now I do want to add. I am gonna go into object mode. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, come on. Look deaf, yeah. Um, Hey, Keek, leaves for break. Character pulls a surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> it's like, why did you leave me? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way. Thanks for the like. Um, yeah, so now I kind of want to add four bones. I want to add two to the corner of the mouth that you can just move it around. And uh, one to the top and bottom that you can put forward and backward so we can uh, uh, put the mouth to a per position or uh, pull it back, right? Um, so the ones on the corner are gonna be driven by both the formation and shape key. Because uh, you kind of want to draw the lips back if the corners of the uh, mouth move back. So kind of like the, the lips become thinner. Uh, and we want to deform it. So we're first gonna check the deform uh, and check how that looks. But the structure of these bones, I kind of want to lay out, uh, is, I'm going to disable my uh, other, and I'm back to my face rig. Uh, I'm going to go add another bone. Okay. Um... Because what I want to do, what I kind of want to check out, is uh, I kind of want to add a bone here that has the same properties as our eyebrow here, um, where we use a bendy bone to start handle absolute. We're going to name these first. Uh, so. I'm just gonna call this mouth dot uh, dash c for center and mouth corner dash l and mouth bendy dash l. Good. So going back to our bendy uh, start handle absolute and that's gonna be our mouth uh, center. Uh, and we're also gonna end handle. Um, it's gonna be the mouth corner L, okay? And then we're just gonna add, no. I'm gonna save for press Control Z. I got really afraid of the Control Z button now. I'm uh, just gonna go in here and adjust it so this kinda looks like, okay. And then we wanna add a bone constraint in post mode, a stretch to uh, our face rig, our mouth corner, right? Um, all right, and now in edit mode, <laughs> we kind of want to move them uh, on the depth of our mouth. So I'm gonna go like this. Okay. I am gonna go. Oh, I want to clear the parent of this one. Yeah, and then I want to reset. Yeah, okay. So now, um, yeah, I kind of want to have these on the other side as well. So I'm going to symmetrize. And that should, yes. Okay, so now we should be able to move uh, the, the, the lips, the upper lips, that is, or the diamond lips. I mean, you can make separate controls for these, uh, but the mouth corner is one one thing, right? And then we can just um, have this twice in here. So what we can do is Shift-D with only D selected uh, in edit mode, of course, Shift-D. And then we have 
our lower lip as well and then we can adjust the uh, curve a little bit more so it fits the lower lip so that's about this okay there we go and then we have somewhat our lower lip right okay kind of, uh, if you would move this like this yeah so <laughs> hmm might it start to work somewhat okay I need to figure out a way to actually get this working the way we want to So the thing I learned is that you want to adjust your curves uh, in your edit mode, not in post mode. And that's going to be a little bit more helpful, I think. I think like maybe we should pull this one down. Yeah. Oh, what happened here? Oh, this is not. Okay. This bone. I'm just gonna center this one again. And then pan it again. Okay, there we go. And may even play with the um, the X curve, so like this. There we go. And that starts to make sense, yeah. Gonna align everything here. So you do want to stretch this to mark corner R and to L and reset our penny bones again. Mm -hmm. That kind of makes sense. Yes. And then theoretically we should be able to make a smile. Let's put a smile on that face. So if we do that, if we say that these are connected to the bandy bones, right? So we're just gonna do this in edit mode for now. I'm gonna select this. Oh yeah, first wanna name them correctly. So this is smart bandy upper dot L not bendy dash lower dash L and then delete oh okay lower dash L oh come on no it's R I am a fool uh bendy upper dash R I name this one, that's correct. I might see it's gonna be mouth dash upper C and mouth dash lower C. Um, okay, and then in object mode and then in edit mode, I'm just gonna go in here, select an edge loop here. I'm just gonna add four groups, right? And, it, and then I'm just gonna go back in here, copy it so I don't make any mistakes. Boom, boom. Oops. Boom, boom. So this will be this one, this will be uh, this one, 
uh, select mirror selection. It's going to be this one. And then I'm going to select this one again. Oops. Select, select this one. I'm going to select mirror selection. And a second here. All right. And then we go into delete our gizmos. Go weight paint. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the weight paint is a gizmo. Okay, that is that is fine. I did the weight paint, didn't I? Yes. And normally, that didn't work. Yeah, there we go. Now we just want to go save, <laughs> then press Ctrl Z. Uh, kind of want to uh, average this out just to get an idea of how this would look. I'll do the same with the lower one. Yeah, I think this much tool will work better. There we go. Smudge tool doesn't actually go to the uh, other end here. So that's nice. I'm just gonna brush a little bit more weight. There we go. I'm gonna use the smudge tool to paint this. All right. Uh, I just want to copy the armature here and also armature it to the face, right? All right, so we're going to go bring the face rig back. Uh, also, we want these four. Uh, we want them on the hidden layer, as we did with these, well, apparently not. There we go. And then see it's not quite there yet but um, just as a previous mode this could uh, this could actually work um, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is uh, having the lips kind of smoothed but I um, can kind of Rotate it and be like, yeah. So yeah, this <laughs> obviously this needs a little bit more refinement. Uh, of course, once we add this, we're gonna skin it a little bit better. Once we add this to the other rig, right? But we'll check if that works, and if we need to add some uh, shape keys to that. All right, can everybody still hear me nicely? This is awesome. So, um, uh, we want to kind of add, um, uh, hmm, now I'm thinking what else do we need to add? Because there, there's a lot of bones we could add, like for other deformations and stuff. But uh, I want to keep it to essentials. Um, and I think another one we could add actually is um, one to poof, uh, poof. Uh, <laughs> what am I saying? Oh God! Uh, to poof your cheeks. Yeah. What we're gonna do it's an edit mode. I'm gonna add another bone here. I'm gonna call this one cheek. Dot L. Um, uh, 
We kind of want to simulate it to the shape here, I think, because we, we could do a scale from here that if you scale it up, it scales the cheek. But I think it's it's a bit too too refined to actually do this through a. Uh, I'm just gonna add a bone here. And what we want to do is add another shape key, which we're gonna call um, uh, cheek dash L. With the X mirror off, I'm just gonna press uh, press O, and then we're just gonna go press Alt S, and that will just blow up the cheek. And then you already see like uh, that might not be as simple as uh, so a little bit more here because also we need to kind of move these ones a little bit forward. Once it looks like he he's been to the dentist, we're good. Um, I'm gonna put a matte cap on him for a second. Just get a better idea of I'm just you know his texture. It kind of goes pretty low here. I think we should also kind of may move this uh, back a little bit. Now if we check this. Maximum one, two. Let's see what happens. And the range of minus one because it's all supposed the other way. Kind of pulls back his cheeks. Kind of looks like kind of skinny. So that's actually pretty good because now it looks like he's very skinny. So it's against his bone. So maybe add a little bit of uh, just a tiny tad here. Or did actually did the opposite of what I wanted. Yeah, okay. I think maybe went a bit Yeah, I think the maximum can stay on one. I think that's good. All right. Uh, hey Zot, man, where are you? We missed you. I'm here every week. I wasn't here on Monday. I promised I, I was gonna do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but last Monday was my uh, little sister's uh, birthday, and we actually went to an art shop and got some art supplies for her. She's also an artist. Um, I'm so proud of her. Um, uh, but yeah, that's why I couldn't make it. I, I did want to put like on, there's this YouTube stories, apparently you can do like Instagram, um, and put an update on there, but didn't find it. Uh, so yeah, sorry for that, but here I am. You don't have to miss me anymore. Hey, Zen TV. Uh, damn, I hate rigging process. You're good with this. Uh, yeah, I, I like to pretend to be, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to do. Is uh, as for the other things, we're gonna add a driver. Uh, we're gonna add a face rig and then add the cheekbone. Uh, and I'm just for the heck of it, I'm just gonna put in the average scale and local space. I don't think that even matters. Uh, and yeah, I have that as a thing. Oh, wait, yeah. So it wants um, minus one. So uh, so now actually in its default pose, it's going to be zero, but then if we scale it, uh, oh yeah, we don't have to unlock the scale, lock the location. There we go. I kind of like how I forgot a couple of vertexes there. Okay. And then we just do a constraint limit location is not needed, but limit scale. Uh, from uh, let's say point one, oops, to maximum of two. Yeah, so that's gonna be correct. There we go. So now, and for transform, so now this should come on local space. Yeah, there we go. How does this still go so low? 
Why can't I go to minus two? I tried many times from different video tutorials and still I can't do this correct. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not the, uh, the most. I don't get why the minimum scale is not working. It's obviously on point one, but oh wait, yeah. So it's just like the scale maximum is two, so it just goes from two to minus two. Um. Sure, let's go with that. I'm just gonna go with different. I'm just gonna put a matcap on again and see how this deforms in the lighting. Looks good. Okay, we're just gonna go symmetrize this uh, and then go back to textured view. Ah, oh, man. Um, save again because we save now every, uh, after every click we do. What's this? I received a message. Oh, nice. Um, all right. So we're just gonna do two things more uh, in this session. So uh, the first one, oh yeah, c c c man, I got distracted again. First we wanna make sure this works right. So I'm gonna go into the object modes, into the shape keys. Uh, I guess you wanna put this one on scale one, uh, scale two, yeah object mode and then go into here and new shape from mix. Uh, scale this down again. Uh, call this cheek R. Add driver. Oh wait, let's just copy the driver from here. Oh, paste the driver, added it and pick cheek R. All right, now we have, uh oh, something is not working. Oh yeah, because the, I didn't mirror the shape key. There's always 33 failed. There's so, I, I mean, that's over the entire mesh. That doesn't really matter. Um, I can poof and skin down and poof. some reason the other cheek this one doesn't want to go with um oh yeah because we still need to minus one okay there we go man like uh copy shape keys button would be awesome i guess so okay <laughs> having fun with this um Maintain volume. <laughs> Ridiculous. Now all we need to do is put an arrow in his hat and he'll become Avatar, the last airbender. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> so the the now the thing we're gonna add we're gonna do two things. Uh, we're gonna add shapes so that uh, it looks a bit nicer, and then we're gonna add it to the main rig. And we're gonna already check the skinning a little bit and see if it works. 
So, um, I think we better do it the other way around because if it doesn't work, the shapes don't make sense. So, we're running out of a specific view and what we're just gonna do is uh, select our second rig here, press Control J and see everything break, but that's normal. Uh, we go into the modifiers here. I'm gonna remove this modifier stack. Oh boy, oh, this, this ought to be fun. Uh, of course, yeah, it does this because it still has these these vertex groups, right? We're gonna fix it in a second. All right. So what we wanna, what we want to do uh, now is also pick these face bones, right? Incl uh, inclusive with the jaw bone, and we want to put them in layer four. There we go. So that'll so that we can single out the the, the face bones when we want to. We're also gonna uh, select our bendy bones here. All right, nice. So I want to go into rage mode and hide the camera again. So now, oh boy, what's happening here? What is happening here? It's just because. Okay, we just need to hit the reset button again. Ah, that is fun. I cannot do this for multiple at once, I guess. Nope. Can I, is there a command to do this? Nope. That is fun. Could actually link it to a button. That'll be fine. All right, so now go into post mode and we see that we can destroy our mouth here. Um, good. Exactly what we want. Uh, I can hear you. I'm just responding. Uh, I just have like a 20 second delay. So if I read your messages, uh, it's gonna be a little bit later. And I'm also focused on Blender. Uh, I am turning to the chat from time to time. So no worries, I can hear you. Uh, I will render an EV. We will try to render this entire animation EV. Because I believe that real-time rendering is the future. Um, and I better uh, get on with it. All right. Good. So. These all still work, right? Oh, boy. Why does this not suddenly work? Oh, boy. Did I do a, did I do a whoopsie? Yeah, I do a whoopsie. I do, need to, I do need to, no, not this one. Bone, yeah, I do need to delete this one. Good. Yes. All right, so back to our face rig. So we have fun things happening again, where this doesn't make sense anymore. Why not? He screams. So that's our island upper L at a driver. Uh, because our skills were different. I hate my life. Okay, so I copy this. Man. You do, you do learn a lot by just doing. Oh, great. Uh, there we go. Now we see that it's not completely right. It should be around here. There we go. No, that was not right. You didn't copy it. Uh, nope. Yeah, sure, it'll work. Who cares? Um, and then here, I'm also gonna add this value. And then our outlet lower, it's gonna be around here. There we 
go. This makes sense. Yeah, sure. And now do oh my god. Sometimes I just wanna get down of here. So now the maximum and the minimum values don't work anymore, so that's fun. That is super duper fun. Poof, poof, so now this works. Poof, poof. And poof, poof, okay, like this. So, copy over the values. Ah. <sighs> Fun times. So this was because the scaling of one was different than because we were in local space. They took in a transform the scaling of the bones. I should have normalized the scaling before I. So in here, the scale is one, 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 but the face rig probably wasn't. So that was the issue. Um. Copy the driver and paste them. Edit. Change this to R. Okay. So it was a mistake on my part. But that's, of course, the uh, thing with streams you can't edit out your mistakes. Go. Okay, so to reskin these. And of course, this. All right, let's do that. So we're going to go into weight paint. And I'm just going to go. Turn off the gizmos. No, not turn off the gizmos. Um, just turn off phones. Yeah. Sure. Um, got my jaw here, right? Okay, good. Can use that. So we want to the mount bendy upper R. Gonna add some more weight to that. And remove the weight from these lower parts. Lower. I want to do the same thing. I kind of want to average it out, but we do want to add some weight to it. Yeah. So one thing we do need to do, actually, because oh man, oh I did the jar wrong. Um, because. Moving your jaw doesn't mean you move your lips because you can. Whoop, <laughs> no, I can't tell you while showing it. But uh, hey, cake. Uh, what do you do to combat eye strain? Because all of that light around coming from the left would leave me blind. Um. Oh yeah, I mean it looks worse on the webcam than it does in real life. It's just the natural light. It's it's the sunlight actually. Well, it's only it's just the skylight coming in. So I don't have any eye strain, but what I do have. To kind of let me see where I put it. Um, is that here? Yes. What I do have for if I work at night or sometimes if I just want to look fancy, I do have blue fil blue filter glasses. Um, yeah, so. So what I just said was that I forgot to put an X paint, by the way. Um, I put the jaw wrong. So what does that mean? Uh, I'm going to object mode. Uh, we're going to show our bones. Because it's not because our jaw goes down that our lips move it. We can actually move our jaw without moving our lips, right? So we're going to go reset everything and go to this frame. 
Um, what we want to do is correct our mistakes, weight paint at the jaw, and actually remove um, everything from the lips. We might go inside his mouth here for a second. No worries. So just gonna close his mouth here. Ah, fun, fun times, fun times. Um, come on. Yeah, there we go. There. All right. Good. So now it is fixed. Kinda. I think there's still one vertex. Just gonna. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. So now it's closed. Uh, kind of want to make the average of all this. So you kind of want to have a natural stretching here. So I'm going to average everything here out. And it's going to. That is creating some issues. Going to remove the weight paint from up here. Just for a second. So I'm just going to check the wireframe now. Yeah, and so now we kind of want to average it out again. So that we kind of have a smooth. Oh my god. Yeah, so uh, let's undo that. Let's go into the head here and then re add the lips. Or you know what? Let's go into them actually the mouth bent and start oops start adding the lips to the mouth and if we start adding a little bit to here as well then it will actually be a little bit of a smoother transition so there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so once your wireframe there, Let's smooth it out. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, of course. Want to take the smudge tool and you kind of want to remove this from the upper lip and keep it on the lower lip. Um, all right, I'll go a little back from the middle. All right, and we go into our upper. Of course, we want to add a lot of weight here too, so I'm just gonna go. Ah, uh, more. Yeah, there we go. Of course, we do want to pull a little bit of this with us. Just a little bit, not too much. Yes, let's make it light blue. It's a cool color. There we go. And this will not work from the first time. So what that means is like actually you can move the jaw without moving the. Uh, um, of course, it's impossible to move your jaw this far down without moving the lips. Uh, we could catch that with some kind of you know fancy uh, um, rigging. So if we just. Uh, Clear keyframes for rotation here. Okay, so see we still have to resolve some issues here. Oof, and definitely here. So the ideal scenario is that if we move this up here, he just smiles on one corner, right? And we're kind of far away from that now. <laughs> 
So I end up deeper so this slips here. We could do because uh, now it's just a bendy bone uh, bending everything. So hide our bones for now. And we could maybe try and average things out, you know. Uh, but I think what we have to do anyway, because then we can average this out, right? Uh, is also go um, at the corner actually of the mouth. So I'm gonna go at mouth corner dash R. I think that's the name of the bone, name of the game. Yes, exactly. All right. So mouth corner dot L by the way. And also a mouth corner dot R. So Blender will automatically recognize this as um, Yes, and then we're just gonna go into weight paint. And we're just gonna add it here. We're just gonna average it out. That already looks a lot better. There we go. It's gonna smooth this out. I was gonna first check if this was a good idea, right? I already see this looks a lot better. So if we just go back to object mode, bring out the textured version. Then we start to see that we're getting somewhere in the vicinity of where we want to be, right? Uh, <laughs> somewhere. Yet still uh still got some work to do. Um so weight paints. It's gonna go to the mud bend the upper L again. And uh, yeah, I think it's kind of like a little bit heavy here. I think it should be a little bit removed actually from uh, the corner bone here. So I'm just gonna go weight zero, uh, not let it affect the actual corner. Well, actually, yes, okay. Let's save again. Uh, okay. A little bit, not over here. Okay. Uh, okay I want to check this as well. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. What's happening here? Kind of. Hmm. Kind of removed from the other side, right? Because it's mirrored. So, oh god, oh god, what is happening here? I'm putting weight zero, aren't I? What is happening? Can't really see. It's, there we go. That's better. It's gonna hide the bones for a second. What is going on here? What is oh? What is that even? That's the, the, the upper lip, but why is it over there? <laughs> okay, wait, so maybe I should add some weight to this. Uh, poof, 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 poof. Okay, and then remove it from here. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's for a second. Um, remove the lower ones again, so we still just have like we see what's going on, right? And we actually see, if we go into post mode. Okay, uh, chat, by the way. <laughs> uh, we are your fans, answer us, or we delete Blender because we love you. Okay, uh, fine. <laughs> hey, Curiosity, how are you doing? Hello again. Uh, uh, it's going fine. As you can see by the screen, it's going perfectly fine. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, we're doing the face rig at the moment. 2.8 always crashes for me. Well, 2.8 crashes always for me. 2.79 has, 2.78, 76, 73, yeah, all the versions I used. Have it crashed from the beginning. Uh, no blender for us fans still ban that answer us. Well, I answered you now. Go and blender. Be blender. 
Let's go and check the stream out. Uh, ring is one of the annoying process, however, it's the most memeable one as you move all the boys around with. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, most mistakes from like movie goofs and such come from like faulty rigging or like uh, parts of meshes not rendering or hair acting all funky. I think uh, Shrek has this very nice um, reel of, go of technical goofs actually. So the thing that is actually annoying me here is that there's no. There's white paint on this. How dare they? I'm just gonna drag this here. So that shouldn't be possible. That's impossible. Uh, I'm just gonna hide this bone because I think that's the only bone that's really bugging me. Okay. So if you go to the mouth corner here. I think that let's 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 just remove let's just remove everything, right? Uh, yes, let's let's remove everything. Uh, and let's go into. I'm just gonna go. Uh, force merge, and reset all bones. Okay, we're just gonna do the approach from the start, right, from the get go. So what we're gonna do first is go into uh, weight paint, mod corner L, gonna save, because it's definitely gonna crash again. Uh, wait about half, and type radial, crash. Yes. Ha! I predicted that one. Uh, I'm not ignoring you, Zot. I answered to you five times already. Uh, you're not just a very good listener. <laughs> Check B-bone mode. Uh, yeah, I think I could do that, but the blender crashed again. That's that's awesome. I predicted that crash though, and I saved just before the crash, so that's that's fine. I'm not going crazy now. Yeah, yeah ignore whatever. Who cares? So let's try it again. Radial. Does that does this not just not work? No, it doesn't work. It just crashes blender. I mean, it worked before, right? I think it has something to do with radial gradients of weights on back facing. Somebody reported to Pablo. Where's Pablo when you need him? Um, yeah. Oh, man. We love you, band. Oh, I love you, too. I love you, too. All right. So we're just going to have to do this with wave painting, right? Okay, so we put the mark corner in here, and then we just average out. Okay, and we add it again a little bit more, and we average it out. It's a little bit too much. Whoops, because I'm still brushing. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> pick the average one. Okay, so there we go. Put like this. And I'm going to go at a hot spot here. I'm just going to do just a little bit more of a technical test than actually anything else. Yes, the problem now is that everything is moving along with it. So I think what we need to do uh, is we're just going to go to edit mode to remove everything again. And also move from the other side because otherwise it just mirrors. I think, I think, that we move this here, right? I think what should move with the mouth corners, everything up here. So I am going to go uh, do the same thing we did earlier, um, where we say, okay, move here and then here, have a location here. So now we can just crop through it. And I think what needs to happen now, I'm gonna find the ultimate uh, pose here. So it's, it's at all of this, like the, the, the that if it moves, I'm just gonna average it out a little bit. It's a little bit softer. There we go. There we go. Go 
but I think I need to remove this. Or oh, it's very soft at the moment, but from the lips actually. Oh, come on. I hit repainting. Come on. Let's just remove this again. Just trial and error at this point. So we're just going to do first the, um, the, the, the lips here. So if you just... Uh, so the lips will move like this, which is kind of weird. Why is it moving like this? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. World, hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. So this is happening. Oh, okay, I see what's happening. Hmm. Hmm. We have to do it another way. Yes, because the thing that's happening here now is that, um, I mean, you don't see it because of the, the, the weird out weight painting. The thing that's happening is that the, the weights on this bone, this bendy bone and this one are clashing with each other. Uh, and I don't think there is a way to easily uh, do this without destroying everything. Um, oh, also that is great. So, although my love for bendy bones is great, oh god, I, I, I even like puffed them up now. Oh god, oh, because this was animated. Okay, great. Okay, so now they're even like a little bit effed up for some reason. Uh, we might, I might look into this. I'm gonna check some, uh, gonna check some technical stuff, uh, behind the scenes, not on this scene. And then I'll, next time I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Um, cause this is gonna need some time and I don't want to do too much R and D on screen because of course then I'm wasting you guys' time. And uh, I mean, that's not, that's not super fun, right? Um, I'm just gonna check the bandy bones. Maybe I'll, I'll call Danny Max. See, we see what's going on here. See what's up with him. Um, so I'm mm, gonna save this. And I'm gonna save this as a new version. Because uh, maybe I'm gonna go back to them. And we're gonna delete these bones for now. I'm just gonna delete all of my bones. And last thing we'll do uh, before I quit, just going back to texture mode. Um, is we're gonna add a circle. And we all know this process, right? So we select the bone, viewport display, select the circle, and then uh, I'm gonna delete half the circle and hope that I delete the correct half. Yay! And this bone, uh, I'm gonna also add to this bone. So, uh, head mode, there we go. Viewport display, add a circle, perfect. Then I'm gonna just very easily duplicate the circle and then add it mode with the, no, I'm just gonna go into Rotate it by 180 degrees and then apply the uh, rotation. I'm gonna select this one. There we go. Same for this. 
and we kind of have our our uh, eyebrow uh, eyebrows here. Cool. Then I want to add a not a circle. I actually just want to I want to add a single vert. I want to extrude it. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Delete it. I want my cursor to the world origin. Then I want to add a single vertex. And I want to, come on. No, the single vertex where it is. Oh, there it is. Edit mode. And make a line. So then. And here I'm gonna select my I'm gonna select a line. Right. I'm just gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna hide this one for a second. And with that line, I'm gonna select the line and I'm gonna go so that we cover The upper eyelid, something like this. That's fine. Just needs to. I mean, we can even make this shorter, right? So we can just put this. So it's not on the way. Um, but we can easily select it. Every time we see the eye, we see the bone. That's fine. And that'll just that'll do. You know? um, I got a message somewhere. I don't know why. Where? I wonder how. I wonder where. I'm just gonna do the same. Pick the same one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just got a cough there. But that doesn't work apparently. So we're gonna duplicate this one, move it down at Y, and then I'm gonna try and select my lower one here. It's my upper one. And I'm gonna make the this one. There we go. Maybe to fine tune it a little bit, you can. Uh, and I like I like I like it to be like as minimalistic as possible, right? But maybe you can add a little bit of a curve here. And same here. There we go. And then you get like these. I think this is pretty easy. Like, okay, like open the eyes. And we can select these two as X men will apply the scale. There we go. This one is our upper, so we're gonna select this, select our lower and select this. And now we also have bones for these. Uh, and then I might just add a circle. I'm just moved a little bit. I can select it. Gonna select the circle. Same here. There we go. And now we just need to increase the size of that circle to uh, puff our. You know, might adjust that a little bit because in here, because that's what's our reference pose um, library, uh, which I said at the beginning of the episode we're gonna use for. We're gonna do poses. We're gonna check. Huh. Does it make sense to look like this? And then we're gonna adjust the rig again, um, adjust weight paints, adjust uh, shape keys and all that good stuff. Uh, so it makes sense. So the last one, not a circle. Uh, I'm just gonna increase the size really quick. You can select it. That's for our jaw. Uh, and I wanna delete this part that uh, was uh, I was wrong I want to delete this part no I was wor wrong again I want to delete this part yes exactly and then from the origin I actually want to kind of create something like 
this. Yeah. I mean, I can even go really fancy and delete these vertices. So, whoops. Oh, yeah. Nah, we still need to fix a lot of issues with that, but we <laughs> uh, at least it looks a little bit fancier now to animate. Yeah, we still have some issues, a lot of issues to fix. So we're just gonna call this uh, DSP rig eyelid. Uh, same name. Same name. This one is for the cheek. This one is for the eyebrow. And this one as well. Now we're just gonna, uh, oh yeah, this one is for the jaw. Okay. We're just gonna select all these again. Poof, 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 poof. And move them to hidden objects. There we go. Now, if you go in here, I'm also gonna disable my relationship lines. I'm gonna go into edit mode for a second. I'm gonna enable all my bones. I'm gonna viewport display them as octahedrals for a second again. And I actually just need these two for a second because I wanna select all of these and parent them. Uh, I think that's worked right, right? Uh, okay. Now we can again uh, to quit uh, to stop the stream. What we can do is um, just really quickly. Enable this bone, let's see what we call it. I brought inner, oh, why is this? I brought inner, uh, uh, let's just eyebrow bendy. Bendy, there we go. And the same for this one, whoops. To copy the entire name. Right, and we can do Go into the eyebrows. Let's see, we didn't add the eyebrows yet. I guess not. So, eyebrow bend the L and a sign. And then, I'll buy brand the R, a sign. So now we can add it again. And normally, this should still work like a charm yeah leave or take a couple of uh, things and then of course you have our temp smile still in here can enable Give him a little bit of a cheeky, cheeky smile here. And subdivide the whole thing again. Ooh. Oh boy, what's happening here? Oh, I moved it outwards. Yeah, maybe I should limit these bones not to be able to move outwards, huh? There we go. Cheeky. So we still have a lot of work to do. Let's save this. Um, but I'm gonna stop the stream here. It's four o'clock again, so time for me to leave. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe uh, and pre press the bell button if you wanna get notified when the stream is going up. I am streaming on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Brussels time, so that's plus one Greenwich time. I have a Patreon set up, so check that out in the description. Uh, I'm still kind of figuring out what I can do with it. Um, but if you want to support me, you can check that there. Uh, thanks for watching anyway, uh, everybody. Uh, thanks for the questions and the comments and the likes. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.